Here's your new home, buddy. Whoa! What's going on everyone? Welcome to Tommy's Reptiles. This guy right here is my Brazilian rainbow boa. Today, we're going to be unboxing and setting up an enclosure from Black Box Cages. My Black Box Cages shipment just arrived. All right, so here it is, guys. I finally managed to get it in my house. It was a big package. I just put it on my couch for now. So next, I have to take the old enclosure, move it out of here, move this junk out, unbox this puppy, and then put it down there. So my thought process was, I think that I'm gonna just remove this enclosure. I'll take the snake out, remove the enclosure, put it in a different room, put the snake back into it. And then, um, so I don't have to put him in a little plastic holding receptacle. He could stay in his old enclosure while he waits. And uh, then once we set up his new enclosure, we'll um, release him into it. Yeah, we'll get this out of here. This is an isopod and springtail colony that I'm actually gonna use to put back in his new enclosure so it can help uh, keep his enclosure clean. Gotta move this stuff. Obviously I'll sweep after I'm done cause I'm probably gonna get the substrate everywhere. But uh, yeah, we'll move this stuff and then somehow try to figure out how to get this bad boy out of the reptile room. All right, let's grab this stuff real quick. Move that out of the way. I don't know why a photo album is right here, but yeah, let's get this stuff out. All right, just for the snake safety, I'm gonna take him out before I move this out of the room and then I'll put him back in it. But for now, I don't know if I can get him to fit in here for a second, we'll see. So let's give it a shot. All right, buddy. I know you're under your favorite hide. I don't know if he'll fit in here, to be honest. Here he is. Careful, buddy. Oh. He's getting a lot bigger. And he just wants to go back under that hide. Don't worry, we'll put it right back in. Once you're set up, let's see if we can get you in this thing right here. Whoop. Maybe. Maybe. Just for a second, buddy. Get your tail in there. Get your tail in there. Okay. All right. Now we'll go put him in a safe spot and then we'll move this bad boy out of here and put the upgrade in. I'm gonna start wedging this thing out of here. Easy does it, easy does it. Okay. It's kind of caught right All right. Woo! Let's push this enclosure out of here. Woo! Just fits. Okay. Okay, we got the enclosure out in the living room. Let's let my Brazilian rainbow boa get one last hurrah in his first real home before he moves to a much better place. There you go, buddy. All right. Come on, get that tail in. Let's sweep up under the shelf before we put the new enclosure there. Okay, full disclosure, before I start unboxing this snake enclosure, this video is sponsored. They did give me a, a good discount on this enclosure to make some videos about it and give my honest opinion. They really stressed that they wanted an honest opinion and I'm gonna give it no matter what. Um, but I wouldn't have purchased this or I wouldn't have uh, wanted to get one of these unless I saw other people's videos giving good reviews on them. So I have a feeling I'm gonna like it, but we'll see if there's anything I don't like about it. So. Let's rip this puppy open and see what's inside. I think I could just lift the lid. 
I guess so. Wow, that was super easy. All right, let's get a better look at this enclosure before we set it all up. I must say I'm very pleased with the delivery. Um, the packaging was on point. It arrived in mint condition. And uh, yeah, this is a big thing to ship. So oftentimes, um, sometimes the delivery service will, you know, drop it or dent it or whatever. But yeah, this thing looks great. I like how it has the black box cages logo right there. Pretty cool. And I assume that most of the stuff I need is gonna be in here in this bubble wrap. All right, let's do a door test. See how these bad boys open. Here we go. Um, the doors are nice and you can tell that this is good quality plexi. I like it has a lock on it already. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to tell. Oh, whoops, don't wanna do that. Uh, this is what I wanna tell you guys. So I didn't know, but I guess you could order these either folded up and you assemble them yourself. And I assume if you pay a little extra, um, I can't remember if I paid for this or not, but they'll ship it completely set up for you. So all you have to do is plug it in. There's nothing you have to do. You don't have to unscrew anything. You literally just plug it in and it's ready to go, which I thought was a really cool option that you can get from black box cages. All right, let's take this stuff out. Awesome. They sent me a cool snake hide. It looks like a couple hides. Here's the keys for the locks. Here's the, uh, I think the, I don't know what these are called. I think they're called dowels or something, but um, I believe these are used to plug in some of these holes up here. They sent me a little envelope. Got some cool stickers in there, it looks like. Awesome. Good stuff right here. And they obviously support US Arc. Don't know what this is, but I'm gonna unbox this in front of you guys real quick. Let's see what it is. Whatever, I'm just gonna rip it. Okay, looks like some plugs, possibly for the light, I believe. The light or the thermostat. Oh yeah, light LED dimmer. Awesome stuff. Here's one of their hides, heavy duty. I like how it's um, pretty thick because a lot of times if you get those little thin flimsy hides, the snake will move it with its body and this thing probably won't be going anywhere. I like that a lot. Okay, let's take this package out very carefully. This is pretty cool. Looks like a couple more hides, I'll show you guys. Oh, nice. Another little hide. These things are really cool. And then this is a big hide. This is probably the one I'll end up using for this snake. And a lot of room, especially for when my rainbow boa gets full grown. This is awesome. Another really cool thing about getting the enclosure shipped uh, fully assembled is that they silicone it for you. And I was wondering if I was gonna have to silicone it and then this video would take another day and they said, nope, everything's all set up for you. Something else I wanted to show you guys before I put it in the shelf right down there is the enclosures also come with these nice air vents. I believe there's two on each side and then one in the middle on the back. And then we'll go in through the front again. There's the heat panel. And then I'm gonna have to hook up the light Okay, so here is the LED light strip. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the enclosure on the ground for now. And I wanna show you guys something real cool. I was just trying to figure out the lighting situation and then I was like, oh, this must be for something. Look how awesome that is. You just take the wire, put it through the hole, and then they have a, a track for you to put the wire in. That is awesome. So then the wire won't get in the way of anything when I put it in the shelf. That is completely awesome. So far, I gotta say, I'm, I have no complaints about this enclosure at all. Everything is awesome. I really like the design. 
Um, I'll keep looking for something I don't like. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna give you guys an honest opinion, but I have to say I'm super impressed with black box cages so far. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the LED. It just seems like it, I didn't look at any directions or anything, but uh, seems like it just clicked right in, right over here. Super simple. This is like a very user-friendly enclosure. All right, let's do a little light test. Wow, has dimming options. I really like that, pretty cool. All right, let's get this puppy in the shelf where it belongs. Woo, perfect fit. Just gotta push it in. This is awesome. Actually, I'll get these wires hooked up real quick. Woohoo! That is what I call a perfect fit. Look at that. I um, I got the probe in, hooked up the lighting. Just gotta turn on the, um, the thermostat, get that boy dialed up, and uh, yeah, I'll give the inside of the enclosure a quick wipe down, and then we'll start scaping it and setting it up. All right, we're outside now. I'm just gonna throw in one of these three brick cocoa fiber blocks into a bucket, fill it up with water. And while I wait for that to expand, I'm gonna clean the enclosure and wipe it down. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe it down with this reptile safe cleaning agent. Get some of that in there. And just try to clean up the particles from the uh, construction of this enclosure. We'll hit up the other side. Now it's nice and clean and ready to start adding the substrate. Let's start putting the cocoa fiber in there and see if one bucket will be enough. Looks like this guy up here is curious about what's going on. I think one bucket might be enough. Let's finish the other side. Hey guys, so this thermostat is on and working. I got all the substrate in. I made a little mess, but that's okay. I got a broom. So I want to tell you guys what I'm going to do here. I'm going to kind of use his old decorations and try to make it very similar to his last enclosure. So he's not, you know, thrown off or anything. And then slowly I'll start um, adding bigger hides and different hides and climbs and stuff. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna use his original two hides and then throw in one of those black box hides and his climbs and stuff and some shrubbery. So let's start putting some of his old decorations in his new enclosure. First up, we have this old Tupperware I made a hide out of. Kind of looks terrible now. Some of the, uh, the moss fell off and stuff, but this is what I had on his old hot side uh, of the enclosure. So I'm gonna put it back where he can heat up under this thing. I'll probably cover it with some moss. And over here on the cool side, I'll add his water dish and a similar setup to what he had in his last setup. Then right next to that, I'll throw in one of these cool black box cages, snake hides. And I'll just dig it right there. Next up, we have some climbing branches. I'll probably throw those, one going each way probably. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that branch going up, up there. All right, let's add some of this greenery. I'll wrap it around this branch to kind of hide the uh, straight edges. <laughs> this is what we're going with so far. I like having the greenery around like where the water feature is. And I'm actually gonna get one more hide that's very small, but he's, he always goes into it. <laughs> Look how small that hide is. He can like barely fit in there, but maybe it's special to him because that's his first hide from when he was a small little neonate. So I'm gonna take that Take some of his old little flowers and uh, I'll put these in first, then I'll grab the hide and I'll grab him and we'll put him in. 
I got these fake flowers, they're covered in dirt, but I'll rinse them off later on. Wedge them in here. Put another one right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and put his tiny hide back in this corner. Oddly enough, I think he uses this one the most. But before we put my snake in his new black box cages enclosure, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do in the future with this. I'm gonna remake a bigger, more naturalistic looking hide. I'm gonna hide the probe with some fake vines or something like that. Um, I'll probably get way better. I might use real plants in this, like some pothos or something, and get a bigger, more naturalistic water feature. All right, let's let my snake explore his new home and stretch his legs. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. Here's your new home, buddy. Look how much more room he has. That is awesome. He's gonna go around smelling his new enclosure, seeing what's up. He'll have some familiar scents in there from his old water dish. All right, guys, I thought that I found a critique and something that was gonna bother me, which was um, if this is unlocked, I'm like, oh man, at the wedge, I'll show you what I was talking about. So if I had it like this and I didn't have it locked, I was like, oh man, that's kind of annoying that you gotta use your nails to like pry it open, which give me a second. I don't know if I have long enough nails, but I was like, oh man. But then I realized, oh, psh, the key, the key opens it. And obviously I'm gonna have it locked all the time, so no complaints there. No issue at all. But if this didn't have a lock, that would have been a complaint. But uh, yeah, I got nothing, guys. All right, the final test. Let's see if he's willing to eat in his new enclosure. Whoa! Now it's time to rate these four categories. Cost, I'm going with five out of five. That's how I found this company. I was looking for affordable enclosures and they really crush all the other competition. So far, the quality is also getting a five out of five. It seems very durable. We'll come back and revisit this in the future but the quality is getting a five. Aesthetics is also getting a five. I love the sleek look and I love the innovative design. And lastly, customer service also getting a five. Every time I reached out to them, they got back to me in a timely manner and were super polite. If any of these change in the future, I'll let you know. And that's it guys. We really hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles.